Life as a professional athlete can be particularly unforgiving, a career that carries little security, but an insane amount of determination needed to succeed in. Whether it be injuries, skill, disciplinary issues, or politics, there are a variety of issues that can derail or tarnish even the most accomplished of careers. There are a few better examples about how it can go wrong so quickly than the man they call the beast, Manu Vatuve. Towards the corner, up goes Davidov! Manu Vatuve has gone higher! And Let's have a look at how this once fairy tale story quickly turned into a nightmare and where the Kiwi great stands now. Before we get into this video, I just want to shout out my Patreon, Liam, for suggesting this video idea. If you want to have the opportunity to suggest videos amongst other perks while supporting the Alpha channel, subscribe to the Patreon. Growing up in Otago, Auckland, Manu Vatave's rise through the rugby league system was incredibly fast. Playing for the Otahuhu Leopards and the Otara Scorpions, Vatuve had already developed into a highly touted prospect in the Auckland region by the age of 15. A year later, he would be signed by the New Zealand Warriors development squad, already recognised as a powerful, towering winger that possessed the physical attributes of the pros. At 18, Vatuve would make his debut in the 2004 season playing four games before going on to make 12 appearances in his second season with a total of nine tries. His physical attributes carried over into the NRL and by 19 he would debut for the New Zealand international team and play his part in the Kiwis' defeat of the Kangaroos with two tries to win the 2005 Tri-Nations Finals. Vatuve's international career continued to soar as he starred in the 2008 World Cup run, breaking the country's World Cup record for tries in a match and was named the International Winger of the Year. Well, uh, this is my first time and um, I'm pretty lucky that I uh, scored those four tries and I wouldn't have done them without the boys. The Kiwis famously upset the Kangaroos at the World Cup in 2008, winning their first and only Rugby League World Cup. Although the Warriors would not win a premiership during the Beast's career, he was part of some historic Warriors seasons. His run to set up Michael Witt to defeat the first seed Melbourne Storm in the elimination final helped propel the team to an eventual prelim final. Here's Vatavay, the big fella. He's had an absolute wow of a game. He was key to the Warriors' 2011 grand final appearance where they just fell short against the Seagulls. Batuve would become the most prolific try scorer for the Kiwis, breaking the record of 19 in 2014. He'd also become the greatest Warriors try scorer ever, leading the club in try scoring for eight consecutive seasons and finished with a total of 152 tries across his NRL career. As the only player in NRL history to score 10 tries in 10 consecutive seasons, Vatuve is arguably the greatest winger in New Zealand rugby league history. Manu's last Kiwi cap would come in 2015, and after suffering a season-ending shoulder injury, the Warriors would part ways with one of their finest servants as he was released from his contract and would join the Southwood Red Devils in the Super League midway through 2017. Vatuve would appear in just eight games before a ruptured Achilles injury ultimately forced him to end his career. Manu struggled coming to terms with an injury-enforced retirement and like many other athletes whose careers end abruptly, was unsure on what to do next. Vatuve pivoted into a career in boxing and faced off against David Lutelli in his professional debut. Having already won in 2012 in a charity event, Vatuve showed once again why he was the beast, knocking out his opponent in the first round. Unfortunately, that would be the start and the end to a fledgling boxing career as a cyst on Vatuve's brain was discovered. This put Manu's life into a freefall, who stated his behavior had already changed in 2016 in fear of the prospect of retirement saying, I started changing around 2016. I didn't care about no one. I just wanted to end it right there. I didn't think about my kids, my family, my parents, my brothers. I was over and done. I wasn't laughing as much. I just didn't care. I was just doing stupid things like going out and drinking for many nights in a row. I had no soul. The inability to end his career on his own terms due to injury and the uncertainty of what was next after two decades as a footballer troubled Manu deeply, with his marriage ending and him resorting to ridiculous partying and spending. Vatuve's mental health spiralled following his retirement. I was just spending ridiculous, just doing stupid things and drinking. I had a lot of things in my head, yeah. like, like through my playing career, um, retiring, just with my depression and um, when I almost committed. This path ultimately led him to serious prosecution as Vatuve would be caught up in a drug ring with his brother. After being anonymously charged in 2020, it was in May of 2021 where he publicly stated that he was the athlete involved in the case. Um, and I'd rather you guys hear it for myself, but um, in 2019, I was charged with um, importation, position and supply. Vatuve would eventually plead guilty for the importation of $200,000 worth from India and was sentenced to three years and seven months in prison. 
Batuve entered into solitary confinement for 12 days after he tested positive during the 2021 pandemic and described the experience as a good thing. In prison, it gave me time to reflect on life and reflect on where I was and all the problems I was just trying to run away from. Being stuck in four walls on your own reminds you. Jail was probably the best thing that ever happened to me. Vatuve was paroled 15 months into his sentence, being released in May of 2023. Upon his release, Vatuve would join David Latelli at the BBM gym as a fitness instructor and an assistant to the local food bank. And when Manu got out and he messaged me, can I come see you about working? You know, and I said, of course. And, and now he um, works full time for us, helping in the food share, helping run our, um, you know, our, our workouts from the couch, employment programs, because when he's talking, people listen because he's still a hero. Recognised as a rugby league great, there was obviously judgement coinciding with his release. Batuve has stated that working within the community has helped with those anxieties that commonly arise following prison. Batuve has also found purpose. While Manu Batuve made a mistake, it was hopefully just a blemish on what was one of the great rugby league careers. So that concludes this video on what happened to Manu Vatuve. If you have your own suggestions on any other Australian athletes, tell me in the comments below. Like if you enjoyed this video, subscribe for more alpha content, and don't forget if you want to support this channel financially and suggest videos like this, join the Patreon. As always, thanks for watching.